So I know I've been I've been a little bit uh, MIA, right? I've been a little bit busy, but I promise you it's for a reason. But today, I quickly want to just kind of light some people's flames up, get people a little bit upset because I've been seeing a trigger, right? Dallas Cowboys fans have been talking about us a lot, so I'm giving them what they want. They want to be talked about, right? The Eagles have the best wide receiving core in the NFC East. I said it, so let's get into it. What's going on, you guys? It's your boy, Joe Castro, a.k.a. Philly Fresh, under this Philly Philly podcast. So today we are going to talk about the hot button topic and, and you know, the, 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 the one thing that gets Cowboys fans going is to tell them that they don't have the best at something. Uh, so I'm going to talk about this wide receiving core. Obviously, the Philadelphia Eagles add a lot of talent to this wide receiving core, already had some talent to the wide receiving core. So I think that it's safe to say that the Philadelphia Eagles have a better wide receiving core than anybody in the NFC East. Maybe in the NFC, I, I don't know if I want to get into that right now. But before we get into that, be sure to hit that like, hit that subscribe, join the family. We are on the road to 4K. Now, let's get into it, man. Let's get into it, all right? We're talking, we're talking Devontae Smith. We're talking Quez Watkins, and we're talking A.J. Brown. We're talking three guys that could be realistically ones, maybe twos. If you look at Quez Watkins last year, he was kind of our two. So maybe you can say two for him. But I, in my opinion, I've said this time and time again, I'm very high on the production that he's going to bring to the Eagles this year. So I think you have three guys that can go out there, be starting level, top tier starting level guys, thousand yard guys. Obviously, Devontae Smith came up a little bit short last year, but we'll see what happens this year. I think that he's going to hit it. So you look at these guys and you look at how many options the Philadelphia Eagles have at that wide receiving core. You're pushing guys like Jay. I know we all don't necessarily love Jalen Rager, but you're pushing a guy like Jalen Rager, a former first round pick, down to the fourth, fifth spot, right? You look at a Zach Pascal at the fourth, fifth spot, right? You look at a Greg Ward, fourth, fifth. Like, these are guys that we've beaten the Cowboys with. These are guys that we've went to the playoffs with as our wide receiving core. So if you look at that and then you look at the additions, right? Now, now you're putting guys with playoff experience at the fourth, fifth spot on this offense so i love it right then you look at the cowboys obviously you guys got cd lamb that's cool that's all beautiful obviously you lost amari cooper obviously michael gallup has to come back healthy there's a lot of question marks when it comes down to this dallas offense there's a lot especially at the wide receiving spot i would not be surprised to see you guys turn into a run heavy offense again that is how it is kind of shaping up. You guys gave a lot of money to Dalton Schultz to be your tight end, and it doesn't help your wide receiving core at all is what I'm trying to get to. You can even make the argument that by extension, you know, Dallas Goddard as a, a, a receiving threat, I'm taking him over Dalton Schultz 10 times out of 10 at every single time for you Cowboy fans that aren't really good with fractions. I'm taking I'm taking my guy every single time, every single time. And I might be taking a couple of our backups over. Anyways, that's a whole nother story. But you look at this wide receiving core for the Philadelphia Eagles. You look at the concepts and the principles that these these offensive coaches have in mind. You look at the history of what Nick Sirianni has done, a Shane Steichen has done. They're going to be quick passes. We're going to get the, the ball in our players' hands very quickly. And I just feel like we have the players that can eat off of that. You give Quez Watkins a 10-yard, you know, a catch, he's going to turn that into a big play. You, same thing with A.J. Brown, same thing with, a, 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 you know, Devontae Smith. So I'm very high on my guys. I'm very high on my guys. And I know this is probably going to trigger some Cowboys fans. That's a good thing. That's what we're here for. So, uh, but you guys let me know. You guys let me know what you're thinking. Do you think that the Philadelphia Eagles have a better wide receiving core than the Dallas Cowboys and the rest of the NFC East? I know I said the whole NFC East, but I think it's really just between us and the Cowboys at this point. I like Terry, but that's kind of where it starts and ends for them. And then, you know, the Giants can't keep a wide receiver healthy since I, I don't even know. I, they, their wide receivers shoot themselves at clubs. It's just been a whole history of bad luck with them for wide receivers. But I don't know what you guys think. Where would you guys rank our wide receiving core in the NFC as well? Uh, but other than that, man, I'm going to end. So if you, you made it this far, if you made it this far, shout out to you. You guys are the go-to. Me and my girlfriend are out celebrating right now because I have a big, big opportunity coming my way. I don't want to give too, too much out. You'll see a lot of what's happening come mid-August, come mid-late August. Um, basically, what I'm doing right now, just on a bigger scale, you're going to see Joe Castro in brighter lights. 
So we're excited. We're very excited. Um, I hope you guys are excited. I know I can't give out too, too much, but I'm, I promise you it's going to be exciting. I promise you that. Uh, but yeah, man, I, I, I appreciate all the love and all the support that you guys have given me over the time that I've had this show. And it's because of you guys that I am getting this opportunity in my eyes. I know a lot of people tell me, take your flowers, but it is what it is. It's because of you guys to me. So other than that, man, y'all know what it is. It is uh, fly goes fly. And we are out here. Are you going to say peace with me? Thanks for tuning in.